Zuzu Natural here. Welcome back to my channel. So I told you guys I was going to do a natural deodorant video. And so this is my natural deodorant video. For those of you who are thinking about switching to natural deodorant, for those of you who have tried numerous brands of natural deodorant and they did not keep the funk away, and for those of you who have tried natural deodorant and perhaps it broke you out, you had some sort of itching or rashes, maybe allergic reaction to the baking soda, this video is for you. I forgot to mention the winners of the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, the two facial products, the Be Natural Organics and the Zatique. The winners were... Latanya and Jennifer. I've already contacted Latanya and Jennifer and I've already packed up the facial cleansers and they are going out to be shipped. By the time you're watching this video, hopefully you will already have them or they will at least be en route to you. So congratulations. So first things first, you want to do that pit detox. If you haven't watched my pit detox video, that was the last video that I put up. I will link it below. You can check that out. But you'll always want to start with the pit detox before transitioning into natural deodorant. That way you can give your underarms a fighting chance of actually surviving the transition without walking around funky. Because you don't want to walk around funky. And so I'm going to tell you my three favorite natural deodorants. Now keep in mind, just because these deodorants work for me does not mean that they're going to work for you. However, I have tried dozens and dozens of natural deodorants. And... I am not exaggerating like I have tried 20 different natural deodorants and finally I found one that worked and then it kind of gave out on me once it was like 100 degrees which is fine I understand that is super hot then I found my holy grail and now I'm trying one that I think I absolutely love as well but so the first deodorant I want to tell you about is La Vanilla unfortunately I can't find the old one that I had I think I may have given it to my brother but I can't find it to show you what it looks like but I inserted that picture right before I started talking so you can see what it looks like so La Vanilla was the first natural deodorant I found Found that actually worked I was so happy I was like whoa wait, thank goodness so La Vanilla costs about $14 and you can get it online you can find it at Whole Foods you can even get it at Sephora I think that's the first place I bought it was Sephora and um, it has no baking soda in it the regular formula has no baking soda so if you have baking soda sensitivities then that might be the one you want to try especially if you are not in a super super hot climate where it gets like a hundred and over in degrees in the summer it might be one you want to try so it's gentle it's mild it, but it's effective it's vegan all of the ingredients are um, plant mineral based and now they have a new one and it's like it's the Sport Lux. That one's a little more. It cost $16. I wish they would have had that one when I was trying it. And this was a couple of years ago. Because when the regular one gave out on me, I would have tried that one. Or I actually probably would have just purchased that one first. Because I do not have baking soda sensitivities. My underarms need baking soda. That is just it. That's it. If there's no baking soda in it, I don't even want to hear it. I need it. Or else I'm going to be funky. It's just the way it goes. That's the way my pits are set up. They need baking soda. And so they have the Sport Lux, which is $16, does have the baking soda. And um, both of the formulas have really wonderful ingredients. So it has uh, skin nourishing ingredients, aloe, uh, cornstarch. It has essential oils, vanilla, of course. It's called La Vanilla. And um, like I said, the Sport Lux has the baking soda, but not the regular formula. I've tried the regular not la vanilla which is just vanilla i've tried the la vanilla vanilla coconut which is my favorite it is the most moisturizing out of the ones that i've tried i've tried the vanilla passion fruit which was my least favorite i felt like it was the least moisturizing and i think those are the three that i tried now i used la vanilla for quite some time so i started using la vanilla fall it had to be about fall, I would say around October, and I was so excited. It was still warm here because it's always warm here, so it's not like it was cold. It was probably high 70s, low 80s, and so I think that's a good indicator of whether or not a deodorant will work. So I started using it in October, November, December, January, no problems there, of course. February, March, April, I'm still rocking with my lavanella. I'm still feeling good. You know, I'm confident that my underarms are not going to be funky. Well, around June, we reached our 100 degree weather, 
weather I can't talk our weather and um, with the heat index it was over 100 and my underarm said ah no no ma'am no and it just gave out on me it did now I wish I would have done a pit detox because maybe that would have been all I needed but I didn't I didn't know about the pit detox at that time and so I didn't and I just went on my search for the next deodorant so if you are in a climate that perhaps only gets up to like 90 degrees this might be the one for you and um, if I wanted to use different types of deodorants, I would actually use that in, or I could use that and then switch over to my favorite in the summer. But why bother when I have my Holy Grail? I just use that all year. If I was in a different climate though, like I'm from New Jersey, if I was in New Jersey, I have no doubt in my mind that that La Vanilla would have kicked me throughout the whole year and kept me fresh Next and Next up bunk -free. we have Schmitz. And this is Schmitz. This is the Ilang Ilang and Calendula. And, um... This smells so good. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. It comes with a little stick for you to dig it out of the pot. So now this will cost you. Now I purchased this bad boy for $3.99 from Marshalls. I was super excited. But I think it costs, let me see, I wrote it down. This costs $8.99 uh, normally. You can get it in pot form or you can get it in stick form. I know a lot of people don't like digging in the pot and then slathering it on their underarms. So you can also get it in stick form. This uh, you can get from Whole Foods. You can get it online at the Schmitz website. You can get it at Amazon, places like that online. It's relatively easy to find. Uh, I had not tried it because I found my Holy Grail and I just was like, I, I like what I like. But when I saw it for $3.99, I had to pick it up. And I'm glad I did. This, I have only tried this scent and the smell is so very different than anything that they make in my favorite deodorant and so I don't mind like switching off. So now I will say this, I purchased this deodorant in January, I think, and so it's been cooler. It hasn't been cold or anything, but it's been cooler. So I can't really give you a good gauge on what it'll be like for the summer, but I can give you a good gauge on what it's like up until about low 80s. It's been low 80s here, and this deodorant is fabulous. I feel fresh. It's wonderful. It has ingredients uh, like cornstarch it has actually no this doesn't have cornstarch i'm sorry this has the arrowroot powder this does have baking soda however they do have a baking soda free formula that you can try and i think that's the sensitive skin i think they have a couple of sensitive skin formulas uh this has essential oils obviously ilang ilang and it has uh calendula and uh it's plant and mineral based it is vegan and i've heard you can even get this at target i personally have never seen it at target but i've heard a few people say they have Schmitz at their local Target which that's really awesome and so um, it also has coconut oil so that's nourishing for the underarms so this has quickly moved its way up into my deodorant faves I will check it out in the summer when it's 100 degrees 101 and 2 degrees and we shall see if it pass the ultimate test but right now this bad boy is wonderful I'm using it now because I love this scent so when I ran out of my primal pit paste I had a backup but um I'm like the deodorant police I saw that my brother was using my brother right my brother was using um toxic deodorant and I was not having it so I swiped that out of his bathroom nicely threw it away actually I didn't throw it away it's going to be in my empties and um, I replaced it with my primal pit paste which was the one that I had for when I ran out so I was like oh I don't have any more let me try this Schmitz so I'm enjoying it right now it's quite lovely I like it so last but certainly not least and this is my absolute holy grail favorite is primal pit paste oh I love primal pit paste guys Oh my goodness, I love primal pit paste. So this is the patchouli, which is my absolute favorite. They don't make the patchouli in a stick. I wish they did because I would prefer a stick. It comes in this jar. Uh, it. I don't think it came with this. I'm pretty sure I put this in there. Like I just keep putting this in there. Oh, and it smells so good. I am a hippie, so I love the smell of patchouli. I understand everybody doesn't, so they have numerous scents that you can choose from. I've tried other scents, so I've had the coconut lime, which is not my favorite, guys. I'm Just to be totally honest, it's effective and it works, but I don't really love the smell of this. And uh, we have the Royal and Rogue. I like this one. This is more of a musky scent, almost similar to the patchouli, but not as earthy and hippie. And um, the formulations, the 
patchouli and the Rogan Royal, these are vegan. However, you do need to pay attention if you are vegan because the coconut lime is not vegan. This has beeswax in it, I believe, or like some sort of bee something. Yes, so Primal Pit Paste beeswax. costs so $8.95 for the jar and it's $10.95 for the stick, a little bit more for the stick. Um, and like I said, I wish patchouli was in a stick. I would go ahead and pay a little bit more for the stick, but it's not. Uh, it's gentle, it's mild, it's made with baking soda. They do have a formulation that does not have baking soda. It's like their sensitive skin one. I have not tried it because I need baking soda. Like I told you guys, I need it. But if it irritates your underarms, which it does to so many, makes them itch or burns or turns them black, then you might want to try the sensitive skin uh, one. I'm not sure how effective it is. Because like I told you, I need some baking soda, baby. I do. And so um, this is cruelty-free, no aluminum, no parabens. And so that is the point of the natural deodorant. We want to avoid those toxic ingredients. We don't want parabens. We don't want phthalates. Those are hormone disruptors. They throw off the balance of your hormones. Phthalates have been linked to infertility. Parabens, oh my gosh, they're just disgusting. They have been found in biopsied breast tissue that uh, has breast cancer. Ugh. We don't want that, right? And so if you want to hear more about that, you can watch my pit detox video or you can check out my battle of the deodorants where I just go into more detail, like the aluminum is linked to Alzheimer's, just all sorts of disgusting toxic ingredients that they put in the conventional deodorant. So the last thing I want to say about the deodorants, the La Vanilla, did I tell you guys it came in a stick? I believe I did. So the La Vanilla, the vanilla coconut was my favorite texture because it was creamy and I found that it glided on very easy. The vanilla and the vanilla passion fruit were a little drier formula and not so moisturizing and it took a little while to warm it up under the underarm and put it on, but it was fine. Uh, the Schmitz. Now the Schmitz, I'm not sure if I can show you. The Schmitz has a very crumbly texture. It's very crumbly. Can you see that? And um, I will say that that's not my favorite, but what I do is I put it, I take it out with the stick and I kind of just smash it into my hand and warm it up and then I put it on. But um, it can be a little messy. So if you're trying to like be super cute, may not be the one you want, but they do have that in stick. And then the Primal Pit Paste, the one in the jar is super smooth, like it has shea butter. So it just comes out so smooth and rubs right on the underarms. But the sticks I find are not as smooth. So you do have to put them under the underarm, let your body temperature warm them up a bit before you start trying to spread it. And I think that they recommend that either on here or on the, um, yes, they have pit tips pit tips on there to let you know how to actually work it and for it to be the most effective. So those are my favorite deodorants. I love all three of those. If you haven't tried La Vanilla, if you haven't tried Schmitz, if you haven't tried Primal Pit Paste, give one of those a try. Um, I recommend Primal Pit Paste because that bad boy will last in 103 and 4 degrees. You will not be funky. Now you're going to still sweat with all of these deodorants because they're not antiperspirants. We don't want to use antiperspirant. We want to sweat. That is natural. That is getting rid of toxins. And we want to do that. So, do you have a favorite natural deodorant? Let us know in the comments, just in case some people have tried these and they haven't worked for them. Everybody has a different body chemistry. So let us know what you're using in the comments. Let us know what you've used that hasn't worked. I would love to hear about that because I'm sure it's on the long list of deodorants that I've tried that haven't worked. Let us know if you are thinking about transitioning into natural deodorant but haven't tried it yet. Go ahead and drop that in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, Check me out on Instagram. I am on Instagram at Zuzu Natural. I also have a Facebook page. Check me out there. Uh, until next time, guys. Peace out.